ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to I'm going to fill you in on a little secret that nobody knows. Okay, don't tell anyone. This is only YouTube, and millions upon millions of people can hear, but don't tell anyone. Ladies and gentlemen, President Trump possibly, almost certainly, wants Pelosi to impeach him. That's not the, the issue that I'm talking about. The not so... Um, the, the elephant in the room is Clinton's wonderful and amazing 2020 campaign that is going to happen. Do not believe that Pelosi is just suddenly going to open up impeachment proceedings on Trump for a guy who got 1% in Iowa in 2008 and turned into a reptile on national television. He fought cornflakes, Count Chocula, Cocoa Puffs, Grape Nuts, and uh, Lucky Charms. He's an amazing, he, he is, he's defeated every breakfast cereal. He's amazing. Biden ain't going to do it. Okay, now you have Warren, who is another Bernie Sanders, and they cheated Bernie Sanders. This is a farce, a show, and they're going to impeach President Trump, which he kind of wants. Good for ratings. God bless President Trump. He understands that media, politics and media are now intertwined to the point where, how do I explain this? The average American just simply has uh, three or four important policy positions, value system, viewpoints uh, related to their value system. Most Americans are not really into politics. The people who are have certain ideals. They either are center, more center conservative, center liberal. They're not really in. They're not really focused on um, what Trump said in a phone conversation about the criminal activity of the former vice president. This is what gets the rabid, maniacal, hysterical base of the wonderful de Democratic Party all riled up. So there's about 30 million people, 30 to 40 million people that Clinton can count on. Just no matter what Chuck Todd and, MS and, and MSNBC and CNN, no matter what they say, they'll believe. Trump worked with Russia to hack the DNC to inform the country that Bernie Sanders was cheated, thus giving Clinton the popular vote, while at the same time swing states went to Trump because of Facebook ads that nobody saw, thus forcing Debbie Wasserman Schultz to resign in disgrace, and ultimately Clinton losing after outspending Trump 2-1. to one. They'll believe anything that Clapper, Brennan, Comey, Strzok, McCabe tell them. McCabe's going to get indicted soon. But they'll believe anything as long as it's an authority figure that they like or that, that bolsters their viewpoints and biases. Clinton is going, it's not a matter of if, it's a matter of when Clinton runs. Now, let me explain. All of this was a sham, okay, just to simply prop up the Democratic Party, because after cheating Bernie Sanders, the millions of people who kind of would go, who were center, who were like, you know what, we're independent, maybe we lean a little left, maybe we lean a little bit uh, conservative. We're, we're open to a Bernie Sanders. We're open to a Democratic Party that actually believes what it, it set, what its core ideals and principles are. Um, you know, you know, we might not. You know, Trump's rhetoric might turn us off. Maybe we're open a little bit to that kind of. Um, you know, we're, we're against never-ending counterinsurgency conflicts. We don't like the one percent, and we think the system is rigged, and a lot of things going on. We we want to change the system. The people who could have voted for Bernie Sanders, who turned out to be um, just uh, a human doormat, those people now don't have a place other than President Trump. Those people possibly could be affected by Pelosi impeaching Trump or Democrats impeaching Trump. They have nothing to impeach him on. There's absolutely nothing to impeach him on. The unemployment rate for Hispanic and Latino men is below the national average. 
Democrats, the core constituents of the, con constituencies of the Democratic Party are doing better economically under Trump than Obama or Bush. The foreign policy is better. There's nothing that they can uh, say in terms of, hey, you're, are you really better off now? Uh, they, they can't say that because, yes, people are economically better off. The country, the country is better off than it was three, four years ago. By every sta economic standard in terms of foreign policy, we're better off. President Trump wants to bring Americans home. But why am I kind of trying to explain this? There are independents. There are about 10 to 15 million people, maybe less. By one estimate, 6 million people, 6 to 7 million people that are going to decide the election. They don't have a home with the Democratic Party. They don't have a home. So impeaching Trump just adds more media spin to where some of those people will be peeled off. And not some of those people, how do I explain? The entire election in 2020 will come down to trying to deceive and trying to manipulate and trying to kind of spin a narrative to enough people that, yes, you might be doing well economically, but President Trump is so utterly corrupt, and whereas Clinton is pretty corrupt herself, she's not as duplicitous and she's not as offensive as Trump. So you'll have another choice again between two corrupt candidates, so why don't you just vote for the golden moo moo in 2020? That's the point I'm trying to make. This impeachment, the conversation with the Ukraine, Trump working with Russia— None of it ever happened in terms of uh, the impeachment or Trump working with Russia uh, or no, uh, in terms of the conversation with the Ukraine. That was about Biden's wrongdoing and misconduct that started in 08 when Clinton was saying he probably shouldn't run. That was about that was about Biden's problems. The the DNC emails were about Clinton and Debbie Wasserman Schultz and Deb Democratic Party corruption. That was about their problems that they've manufactured and spun and marketed into election interference, which has become a religion on the left. So they don't even, they've created their own reality, and their own reality is simply to get enough people to vote for Clinton in 2020. It's not about the future of the country, protecting American lives. You think these, this, this, this nonsense regarding the intelligence community the intelligence community. This has nothing to do with saving lives. It's nothing to do with national security. They've been completely politicized. Hillary, Madam Secretary, Madam Cyberhack, Golden Mumu is going to run, not if, when she runs. She is going to be the 2020 nominee. The Democratic Party is an extension of both Bill and Hillary. I just want to talk to you about my extension if you will, Bill and Hillary. It, it's two people that run a political paradigm. It's not that big of a deal. And it's, it sounds so absurd. Oh, my goodness. How could she run? She lost again. They don't care because 2024 is around the corner. You think that once Clinton loses again, she's not going to run again? D did you ever think that the Cold War, that they would blame Russia for losing an election? Yeah, they did. Did you ever think that a dossier purchased by Trump's direct political rival would initiate investigations? No, I don't think so. Yet it happened. They're going to impeach Trump now. We have a good economy. Wages are going up. Uh, there are some issues with the bond market, yes, but it's not perfect. We, the economy is still good. We have detente b between North and South Korea. We have a president who's a non-interventionist. He signed the First Step Act. He's done good things. He's going up against very corrupt intelligence officials that just happen to always align their viewpoints with the Democratic Party and the Washington Post and CNN. Isn't that interesting? Gosh, what a coincidence. Isn't that interesting? And whereas William D. Campbell, the person who um, basically said, hey, you know what? Russian lobbyists were bragging about their influence over the Clinton Foundation and President Obama's administration to help... Um, expedite the sale of 20% of U.S. uranium capacity to Russia. He, he tested William D. Campbell, according to John Solomon, a whole bunch of, well, he did. He testified to numerous committees in Congress. The first thing Democrats said was, well, that's only your opinion. That's only your word. Can you back it up? They never said that with the Steele dossier. They never said that with Alexander Downer's gossip. 
They were all in. Oh, we got to investigate. When Trump inquires as to why, miraculously, the vice president's son gets $3 million funneled from different countries, oh my God, you're interfering in the election by finding out uh, negative stories about your opponent, and that's exactly what they did to Trump. They purchased these negative stories. They devoted their lives for three years to gossip and hearsay and innuendo and conjecture and hyperbole. And if Trump even dares do that in a conversation, oh my God, the sky is falling. Can't you believe what's taking place? Who do you think this benefits? It doesn't benefit Biden because we know what took place with Biden. We know his... That campaign, that campaign is over. There is no more campaign regarding uh, the former vice president becoming president. It ain't going to ever happen. He got 1% in Iowa in 08. It ain't going to ever happen. Warren, do you even know where Warren is now? Is she drinking a beer and failing another DNA test? We don't know. You want to talk about uh, uh, when was the last time that anyone went, went after the failed DNA test in a debate. How about it hasn't happened because they just don't want to, um, they want to pretend that Warren is a viable candidate. Bernie, <laughs> stories left and right about, oh my God, Bernie Sanders supporters online have, um, oh my God, they've uh, they've uh, gone after different segments of the left and oh, they're, they're so atrocious and his campaign is done. He's going to say, oh, I, I once again uh, endorse Hillary Clinton for president. And it'll be most it'll be the most nauseating, but also it'll be a catharsis that's nauseating at the same time when he does that. Because it'll be so sad and pathetic, but it'll vindicate everything that I've ever said. And when Clinton runs the impeachment, I, I do think they're gonna end up impe trying to impeach President Trump. I have no clue how they're going to to um to to justify it. There is no there are no high crimes and misdemeanors. A phone conversation is not a high crime and misdemeanor. Okay? Asking about the criminal activity, the possible uh, quid pro quo, the possible conflicts of interest. When Chuck Todd today, it was so duplicitous. Check out H.A. Goodman's other channel. I will be doing this segment on H.A. Goodman's other channel right now after this. Uh, it'll be about uh, the Chuck Todd and Congressman Kennedy discussion. When you talk about what took place just today with Chuck Todd. He's like, but there's no evidence of wrongdoing. The president wanted to investigate a political opponent. That is exactly what took place against Trump. And because it went through official channels under the absurd notion that he worked with Russia because of, of a dossier that was purchased by Clinton said so, they don't care. And there's, oh, whataboutism. Yeah, it's called whataboutism. You are going to fall on the whataboutism sword because it's called hypocrisy. Before Democrats used the word whataboutism, it was called hypocrisy. It was called hypocrisy. Hypocrisy. Do as I say, not as I do. Here, let's, let's, let's explain it very slowly for Democrats. You see, when... Biden was bragging about forcing another country to fire an official in that country that just happened to open up an investigation into the corporation that his son was a board member of and raking in hundreds of thousands and millions of dollars. And Biden to the Council on Foreign Relations says, oh, yeah, and we and President Obama was backing me up. And, and you know, gosh, dang it, uh, he he fired. They fired the prosecutor and all, you know, all was well. And I was a real tough guy that actually s tanks and submarines and completely obliterates Biden's campaign. He's on record as saying he forced another country to do his bidding and he with he was going to withheld a billion dollars and he was very proud of it. But if Trump had the audacity to find out about it, then it's a big problem. This helps. This does two things at once. It helps Trump, but not really in the eyes of Democrats because they, they, they already, the fumes of Trump Russia are already gone. So they need another fabricated, ridiculous, bogus, nonsensical uh, story to just, you know, touch themselves in ecstasy over. So they start with this. So that, it, but all of this helps Clinton knocks out her 
centrist rival or whatever, and while at the same time kind of bolstering her base, saying, oh, my God, look how tr- corrupt Trump is. And Clinton runs again in 2020. Oh, well, you know what? Look, he's, he's being impeached right now. Hey, there's, you know, there's always the golden moo Look at my moo It's golden. It's fantastic. It's sparkling. Why not? Why not? It's, I, I'm an amazing person. I'm sure, you know, um, you know, you can get that economic growth with me also. And I, I'll scale back my foreign policy. Yeah, Max Boot and Bill Crystal will still vote for me, but come on. It is all for Clinton 2020. And when it happens, ladies and gentlemen, te- well, first of all, tell everyone that you know that H.A. Goodman is saying that Clinton is going to run again. The impeachment is about this. Everything the Democrats do, every single thing the Democratic Party does is to pave the way for Clinton 2020. There is no Democratic Party. There hasn't been a Democratic Party since 2008. Or maybe even since 2000, yes, yeah, since 2008. You had Clinton as Secretary of State, and after that, the media, the intelligence community, all of these things were all wrapped into one for not just 2020. She's going to lose to Trump. Do you think she's not going to run again in 2024? <laughs> Check out H.A. Goodman's other channel right now. Give me your thoughts below. It's happening, people. Give me your thoughts below. She's going to announce eventually. Give me your thoughts.